What it do, Ski YouTube? It's your boy, Mind and Malcolm, checking back in. Hope you are cozy and warm at home because where I'm at right now in Ottawa, it is brick weather outside. But thankfully, I'm here today with potentially another fire review. This, you can tell by the box, is obviously my favorite Jordan silhouette in the Air Jordan 1. And if the title hasn't given it away by now, I am reviewing the Air Jordan 1 Metallic Gold. And this is really an interesting looking shoe because the materials are different than what you're usually used to seeing. And funny enough, people compared it back to an Air Jordan 1 mid that released back in 2003 in the famous video, Me and You by Cassie. And for those of you who are as old as me, I was in grade three at the time, and that video was something else. But those shoes were just as good. So I'm excited to give you guys a closer look today. But enough of the small talk, let's take a closer look. First things first, as you know, nothing special here. Air Jordan 1 box as per usual. Black all over with the Nike hit on the top. Roll back the paper. And these, honestly, first thing that comes to mind when I see these, if you guys have ever seen some Doc Martin boots, like those like stomper boots, <laughs> these remind me of those right away. All patent leather upper, but they are very, very like luxurious looking and glamorous looking because you could never go wrong with black and gold. But let's take a closer look at the detail. As you can tell by now, Air Jordan has been putting out Jordan 1s all year long for what honestly seems like week after week after week of release, and they haven't missed yet. And for this winter, they really cranked up the volume in terms of releases, and this right here is actually the latest iteration. And honestly, first impressions, I like the shoe. I like the shoe. The material is a little bit different than what I'm used to. As you can see right away, it's all black patent leather upper with the gold patent leather accents, and they have the black on the bottom too but it's definitely eye-catching. And in terms of nostalgia, this shoe is a better version of what released before in 2003, as I was speaking about earlier. To break down the shoe, I usually go from the bottom up, but let's, let's flip it around this time. Let's go from the top down because it is a mostly black shoe and the devil's in the details in this sense. So as you can see on the ankle collar, it is a all gold kind of patent leather heel collar. This is accented by some gold swooshes as well as the black accents throughout the hollow of the upper. As per usual on the toe box, it's perforated patent leather this time. So same breathability as before, but there's a caveat with that. And I want to really bring your attention to this. Since it is patent leather, these are going to crease. Jordan ones do look good beat up, but like these are going to be ones where if you take too many steps, you might not like the result. So extra wear and care is especially important on a shoe like this. Not saying that they're going to look ruined after you beat them up a little bit, but patent leather is less forgiving than just usual smooth leather or tumbled leather. So something to keep in mind before you buy this. In terms of the tongue, they opted for a nylon tongue, which you've seen in all Air Jordan silhouettes that have come out this year for the most part, usual black laces, and they do come with a gold pair as well. But for me, I would keep the black pair on. I think it gives it that sleeker look, kind of like a ninja or something like that. And it really, really settles things down for the shoe because of how much the gold swoosh pops. Moving on to the tongue tag, as per usual, there's a Nike Air hit on that with a swoosh in the middle. Moving on to the inside of the shoe, Jordan Brand actually opted for an all mesh inside, fully blacked out. The insole is blacked out as well, but they did accent it with a gold Nike Air hit on the insole, kind of similar to what you're used to seeing on other Jordan models, so nothing too different than that. Moving down the shoe to the midsole, it's all blacked out as per usual in leather but they do have that gold stitching that really pops and really contrasts the shoe. And I think it's one of those small touches that make the biggest difference. And moving towards the bottom of the shoe, as per usual, all black outsole to finish off the complete package. This shoe is clean, I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw pictures, I was feeling it, but seeing it in hand, just the materials are really the only sticking point for me because I know when dealing with creasing, sometimes it could be tough and specifically with patent leather, it might be a little bit harder to manage. But if you're looking to pick these up, do not worry at all. They're definitely worth having in your collection. And don't sleep because they're Jordan 1 and it's 2020. These will sell out by the time you watch this video, in all honesty. In terms of releases, they are dropping soon, so make sure to follow normal on all social channels. And more importantly than that, I wanna know, where do you think these rank in terms of Air Jordan 1 drops of this year? There's been at least but two dozen or so, don't quote me on that. But where do you think these fall in that rotation? And seeing these here today, would you wanna add these to your collection? One thing I wanna to mention too, in terms of sizing, as per usual, Air Jordan 1s do run true to size. I'm a 10 and a half, 
I would get a 10 and a half in these Air Jordan 1 high silhouettes. So I would suggest just staying true to size if you can. And that's really about it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button. And I appreciate the love and support as always. You guys are running up the comments with jokes, uh, comparisons and all that. So really keep doing that. And I love to just read through it and tag me if you have something funny to say, and I'll, I'll definitely hit you back on that. But on another note, if you want to stay up to date with everything in the clothing and sneaker world, please do make sure to follow Normal on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Enjoy the view. Mind and Malcolm here, Mind and Malcolm there. I guess Mind and Malcolm everywhere. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.